Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Every so often in my job I come across a fault that's so peculiar, so strange that you think to yourself how on earth can that be? Well I've got just one of those jobs here. It's a Samsung commercial microwave um, from one of the local restaurants. That's it, it's a CM1929. It's a two magnetron industrial microwave. So the guy who brings it in, it's just out of the kitchen, so he doesn't know what's wrong with it, and he says just check for the fault. So the first thing I do is I plug it into my current meter and I switch it on to see what current it's drawing. And according to that, it's drawing, uh, ver well, the resolution on this is only 100 milliamp, so it's drawing less than 100 milliamp, because if you look there, that's the voltage, that's the current, it's on zero, zero. But then I notice there's a loud humming noise coming from it, like a transformer's energised. So I'll just move the camera over here, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll switch it on and off and you can listen. When you turn it off, the humming goes away. When you turn it on, it's come on, there's a very loud humming noise. So it sounds like a transformer's energised, but I just skip that for the minute and I put a cup of water in and I test it out. And I find out it's only running at half power, there's only one magnetron running. So I take a look on one side and I find the high voltage fuse has blown. So then when I examine the magnetron, I can see the magnets actually split there. Now these usually only split... Um, when there's an airflow problem and the magnetron's actually overheated and it causes the middle to expand and when it expands it cracks the magnet. So I put a new fuse in and I put a new brand new magnetron in and I plug it into my meter again, switch on, see what happens. So I switch it on again there and I can hear this really loud humming noise and it sounds like a magnetron's energised. So I'll leave it for a minute or two and then I check the magnetrons, and one of the magnetrons is actually red hot. Um, as soon as you shut the oven door, I don't know if you can hear it, but it stops. And when I shut the door, the transformer energises again, and the magnetron's running. Well, of course, the rest of the microwave's not running, there's no airflow, because no, the, the fan's not running. So, I look at the current meter, and I think, it's drawing no current. How can this possibly be drawing no current when the magnetron's energised? Um, because each of the transformers, when they're running, they take about 7 amp each. And I can't believe this, it's drawing no current, but the magnetron's running. So I take a cup of water, I measure the temperature of the water, and I put the cup in the oven. So I'm thinking it's about thinking to myself, this is strange, the magnetron's getting hot, it's drawing no current. Let's, put, let's measure the temperature of the bit of water, 15 degrees. Pull that in the oven, leave it for a few seconds and see what happens. So, once again, I switch it on. I can hear a sound, a big heavy thump, and I can hear a humming noise, like the transformer's energised. I've, I've already noted the magnetron's getting hot, but it's drawing no current whatsoever. And now I can hear what appears to be, quite loud, the magnetron running. So, I just leave it like that for a few minutes. And then I open the door, the humming stops. Take out the water I've just put in, which was 15 degrees before. And now the water's 39 degrees, so the actual magnetron is running, but the rest of the microwave isn't. The fan's not running, so there's no airflow. So that would explain why the original magnetron overheated. Um, now, this could very well be caused by... Let's just power this down. This could very well be caused by one of these relays shorting out and the contacts are welded together. That's quite um, common in microwaves, um, big, big industrial microwaves, because these relays are carrying a lot of current. But, when I shut the door, and then I look at the meter, it's drawing no current whatsoever. So how can this be drawing 
no current when one of the magnetrons is clearly running. So the next thing I do is I disconnect the high voltage output from the uh, HV transformer. I plug it in, I switch it on, the humming's back, it's drawing no current. And I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm wondering how on earth could this can be. And then next thing, I, I must have disturbed something here. Next thing, down here, there's a big blue flash. Um, now, I've got a, a lamp here, because you can't see anything at the moment, so let's turn the light on. And, I don't know if you can see down there, but there's a big black mark on the chassis. Um, and there's some wires, can you see right in that corner, there's some wires that go from the transformer. And uh, it looks like the insulation's broke down, and one's actually touching onto the chassis. So I pull out this wiring loom that goes to the transformers and as you can see uh, at least two of the wires they appear to have melted uh, and they were touching on the earth case. So I get out the service manual and I examine the service manual and then I can see straight away what the problem is. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave them wires like that and uh, we, I'm going to show you what the problem was, and then we're going to simulate the problem. Right, so I've just printed this off to make it easy to see, and we can draw on it. So if we examine it, the live side of the mains goes down here. It goes through the two door switches, and then it goes straight to the transformer here. So the actual live of the mains, as soon as you close the door, we've got a live supply permanently here on the transformer. And how it turns the transformer on and off is in the neutral. We've got the inrush relay and the power relay, but this is the neutral connection. So what had happened is the wire with the insulation breakdown here had actually touched on the case. So this connection here was straight to ground. So that explains why the transform was energised because we've got a permanent live here and this connection was shorted straight to an earth case. Um, and that also explains why on my meter it's drawing no current because my meter obviously measures the current flowing between live and neutral. It doesn't measure current flowing between live and earth. So let's just see, I've just moved them wires out of the way temporary. Um, we'll just do a quick demonstration. I'll show you the magnet. I'll show you the microwave running how it should be and then we'll simulate the fault by clipping a crocodile here onto the earth case. Right, so it's my alarm gone off. Let's just see the microwave running now at full power first. Um, right, so that's running now at full power, both magnetrons are on and we're drawing 14.8 amps from the mains, or 14.7 then. Right, so now I'm going to simulate the fault by clipping the neutral side of the transformer onto the earthed case of the microwave. Right, so there we go, neutral of the transformer, connected to earth, turn it on. And you can hear it, and if I turn it on and off, you can hear it energising and drawing no current. So, there we go guys and girls, a very interesting fault. Um, it did have me fooled for a while, and uh, I actually found this quite by accident, because I was really, really puzzled as to what the problem was. Alright guys and girls, I'll catch you in the next video, many thanks for watching. And uh, there we go, that's just a quick picture. 
of the insulation breakdown on the wires that were actually uh, shorting to the earth case.